you know, getting a little tow. No big deal. Good morning, everyone. This is the start of our day two on the road with Bertha for the very first time. For those of you guys who don't know who Bertha is, I bought an RV a couple months ago, fixed her up a little bit, and took her out on the road. We're gonna go and get some breakfast, so stay tuned. Wash your windows real quick, huh? Wash your windows Just for a dollar, for a dollar. Let's wash your you ready? I'm as ready as I can be. Let's go! I need a quick nap. <laughs> Let me reenact this for you guys. So I was like this. And then here the z -z 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 -z. And went like this. And then DJ, so calmly, says... I ran out of gas. <laughs> so we are on the middle of whatever road. I don't know where in the heck we are. Uh, Virginia, probably. Oh, yeah, we're still in Virginia. Ran out of gas on the side of the road, but your girl's smart because I made sure that we had some backup. So, yeah. I'm gonna put some gas in there, Beach? Yep, stay tuned, see if we make it out of here. Oh. reminder DJ and I are not even close to being professionals we really 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 wanted to figure this out on our own but <laughs> look at how he's struggling with this gas tank <laughs> sorry Deej so sorry shift funnel grab the water bottle took a knife to it now let's see if this will help us get a little bit more gas into the Tank, at this point, I think it's on the side of the highway. <laughs> I think we got it now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he got the battery pack out. We just tried to start it one more time, and it didn't work. So, we're gonna see. DJ literally will not give up and I absolutely love that I stopped counting after like 10 tries we plugged in the battery pack thinking maybe the battery was running out of juice and I promise I think we did about 10 more attempts to get us absolutely nowhere I want you guys to know that Bertha is not starting and DJ is pushing Bertha as I am in neutral so we can get it off the road a little bit more. So what do you think, Deej? Safe to say we shouldn't have driven her on E? I mean, at least we know something about it. Right. You know? but, but yeah, we're a little stuck. Little stuck. But small hiccup. 
Uh, we just gotta figure out a solution to get out of here. <laughs> right. So. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> He's convinced it's the battery. Sorry. We'll let him deal with the battery. So, uh, I was tracking the gas gauge. So right when it hit E, I started counting and it took like 93 miles for it to like completely shut off on me. So I think it's safe to assume once it reaches E, we got another 30 or 40 miles before we should probably pull into a gas station. <laughs> probably guys, it's just, it's not a definite or a maybe. It's a, we need to go now. <laughs> yeah. So we're about like three miles away from another gas station. Um, I'm thinking it just really needs more gas, but the batteries are brand new. So that's why I'm like, I don't understand why it's like an Climbing. issue, yeah. but we've been trying to like get her going. So I think that that can take a lot of juice, but there's two batteries. Yeah, one's accessory, the other one's for the starter. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it was just, we cranked it so many times yeah. trying to get it started that we just kind of drain the starting power out of it. But we realized that if we let it sit for a little while without using a jump pack or anything, it does have enough juice to kind of want to start. Yeah. So we're just giving it a little bit of time now. Gonna mm -hmm. have another go at it in a few minutes. Um, I think we can get more gas out of that smaller one. Yes. We toss some more gas in the, um, in the tank. I think we have like another gallon. Yeah, at least um, something. And then maybe we'll just break for lunch. No, it's a good thing we're not in a rush. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Thank God. All right. Keep well. Keep working on it. Tell you. Updates coming soon. You guys, the universe is amazing. We're literally just sitting here thinking of our options, and then DJ's like, I feel like. We heard, I heard a, a, a door plug, and he's so dead. Boom. A friend found us, or so made, made a new friend. So yeah, this is exciting. All right, we're trying two battery packs. Want me to hold it and you go start it? Okay, mine's on. Okay, so test run number one was us doing the battery pack and doing the starter and um, adding more gas. Test two was the roadside assistance that is just, I guess, automatic here in Virginia with double battery packs trying to charge up this battery. Didn't work. So now, take three, test three, if you will. DJ had an idea of swapping this battery with this battery. So this one is actually smaller, a smaller battery for the starter. And the other one is a larger battery that's actually an accessory battery. So smart idea, makes me a little nervous, but... Take risks. It's like go big or go home at this point, you know? So I'm gonna let him, you know, unscrew it all, do a little switcheroo ski, and let's see. And honestly, I'm over here not worried at all with huge trucks like that passing us. And I'm like, so what are we gonna eat? Are there any new movies that came out in the I'm like, are you tired at all? You wanna take a nap? Yeah. I just don't care right now. <laughs> Quick break. 
brought to you by Easy Mac, Hernandez, guacamole, and chips. Might sound disgusting, but it's actually like a spicy cheese dip. It's so okay, good. It's time. If you're wondering, Bertha does have insurance and the insurance company never showed up. I am nervous as hell. Bertha ended up having to get <laughs> towed. Uh, we don't know exactly what's wrong with her. DJ thinks that it's the fuel pump, uh, but I was up top on the bed on Instagram Live when the tow truck came and they just lifted us up, literally, and were like, let's go. So, whew, that scared the crap out of me. And they're actually letting us sit in, in it as we're getting towed. This is only, only in Virginia. Do you get a fast tow nearby and they don't care if you're in it? <laughs> so we're at the mechanic right now and they're building a car over here, guys. Look at this. Boom. They're building this. This guy. That's sick. They started her up and she revved pretty good. The pink is also a nice touch, I would say. It's so true. People hate on these. Pretty dope. Tied their battery pack, put some starter fluid in there, and she lit on fire. <laughs> Next. So the mechanic went underneath Bertha, and the fuel pump is in the gas tank. And he knocked on the gas tank and said that it was like empty, empty, empty. But there's like at least seven gallons of gas in there so if we got her towed and she won't start and we went through all of that just because of gas that's fun. we put this guy this guy so it's about seven dj's gonna try to crank her now How'd the fuel filter look? Brand new. Yep. Fuel pump. I think we'll be able to pick up. Alright, what do we got here? Oh damn, that's what that is? The fuel pump looks like this? Yeah. Alright, it looks like a weird lamp, but okay. Alright, well this thing is uh, busted, so let's get Bertha a new one, shall we? What do you think? I agree. Cool. What are you doing? A lot of work. Right guys? Yeah. No. <laughs> These fine gentlemen are the ones who are saving the day. You just made the call. I provided the Bertha, so. <laughs> All right. Doing the last three. And this is what a new, new baby looks like. Look at this, look at that. Nice and shiny. Oh. Now, let's hope that this fuel pump works. <laughs> I'm so happy that, that they found this because I had no idea that there was a fuel pump. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, it gets attached on the top of the fuel tank. And Bertha is absolutely disgusting. The entire time that these guys were under Bertha, they, they kept recommending I give her a really deep, deep 
deep clean. Um, I'm just really, really hoping that this works because other than that, we're kind of screwed. Fuel pump changed. Now, come on, Bertha. That means party's here. <laughs> Hopefully this works. You're doing a double? Yep. Oh. Give me more go juice. I'm nervous. I'm backing up on this one. All right, we're hooked up. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good, good. All right, we got a double. Right. Double or nothing. Let's go, Deej. on not too bad but you can see that it kind of came off here then I noticed as we were driving it was getting really cold and something was flapping pretty confident this is where the deer hit the first time so hit this window completely shattered it and then must have tumbled back this way something but our little Bertha. Oh, dang. Okay, you guys. So end of day two. Bertha needing a fuel pump. Then a deer hitting her. And us. Made us just want to give up and just be like, okay. Let's sleep and reevaluate all of this stuff in the morning. So day two is over thank you guys so much for watching until next time next episode we will show you how we fixed bertha's big patch see you next week <laughs>